guys, CHH here. Today we're talking about what I consider to be an actual genuine masterpiece. That word gets thrown around a lot nowadays, and it's all subjective, I get that. But without a shadow of a doubt, I consider The Exorcist 3 to be one of those movies that undoubtedly deserves the title of a masterpiece. I want to talk a little bit about this movie, and I also want to talk about the 4K from Scream Factory. So let's just get right into this. Without a doubt, The Exorcist 3 is my favorite Exorcist film. I love William Friedkin's first movie, The Heretic is the Heretic, but The Exorcist 3 is the one that genuinely frightens me to my core. Everything about The Exorcist 3, I think, is just perfection from William Peter Blatty. First of all, the performance of Brad Dorff as the Gemini Killer is about as haunting and as scary as anything in the genre. I feel that when you're in that room with him, you are literally at the beck and call of the devil, and there's nothing you can do about it. The way he's able to cry when he speaks and everything just is terrifying. I mean, jo Brad Dorff is one hell of an actor, and this performance could quite possibly be the very best thing he's ever done. But without question, my favorite thing about The Exorcist 3 is George C. Scott. I think that this is a brilliant performance and one of my favorite, if not my favorite, lead performances in a horror film ever. His character from William Peter Blatty is written so well for you, the audience, to really not only rally behind, but really empathize and push for. He shows moments of true care for not only him, but other races. He's the only one that seems to be like, you guys are crazy, calling rabbis rabies, and you're confused at what's going on. You people are ignorant. Come on, guys, let's snap out of it. But some of the moments that really get me are when he shows genuine emotion, but he has to close it off because of the position he's in. There's two moments in the film, one where he sees his friend, the priest who gets all his blood sucked out of him by the Gemini killer or the devil, and the other scene where he needs to talk to the cops and he yells for everybody to shut up and he breaks down and then has to literally take a few seconds to stop himself to explain that they had the press lying to people to weed out all the wackos to say they were the Gemini killer. It shows that George C. Scott's character is so human, but he has to be able to control his emotions because he's responsible for not only himself, but everybody in his town. It is a beautiful, haunting, brilliant performance. I also find The Exorcist 3 to have some of the scariest moments visually and in terms of suspense I've ever seen. The hallway scene that's famous for this movie, everybody knows it and loves it, it still creeps me out because it doesn't linger, the music cue hits right on time, and damn it, it's just eerie. And other things about this movie that give me the willies are the scene where the priest goes into the room with the Gemini killer and sees, or actually it's with Father, it's Father Carradine, where the whole room turns into literal hell. There's fire, you see the cobras, the snakes around the feet. Holy crap, it is like this is hell. But man, this movie just scars me. Every single scene. The scene where the nurse is riding in the cab. George C. Scott's family home gives me the creep. She's sitting right in the middle seat and she's just staring intently knowing what they're about to do. Jesus, man. This movie is a perfect 10 to me and I love it till this very day. In terms of the 4K from Scream Factory, I'll say that the picture quality is damn good. It is a good, clean fresh 4k transfer that is better than the blu-ray and if you're a big fan i highly recommend getting it now it gives you the 4k scan of the theatrical cut you do not get the 4k scan of the uh director's cut which look i would have been i can see people being upset about this and if this is a deal breaker for you i totally get it i find the director's cut to be a little bit messy i think the theatrical cut gives you the best of seeing father damien in here i just feel that what they had with him in the theatrical cut balanced perfectly. It's my preferred cut of the movie. So if anything, I'm just I'm glad that we got the 4K of the theatrical cut. And um, if it had been the other way around, I probably would have been a little bit more upset. But honestly, if that's a deal breaker for you, I totally get it. You're going to get the 4K scan theatrical cut on the Blu-ray as well in case you want to upgrade but you don't have a 4K player. Or if you don't own this movie at all, and on disc 3 you're getting the Legion director's cut so I still have that option on here if I want it to but that is just the blu-ray scan from the previous release so that's something to consider if uh, you haven't bought this movie before I say what are you waiting for this is an absolute masterpiece um, 
I love this movie. There's nothing wrong with this movie whatsoever to me. I think it's absolutely perfect. It, the way George C. Scott responds to the devil when he's like, have I helped you believe? And he doesn't answer that, yes, he believes in God. He says, I believe in pain. I believe in torture. I believe in death. I believe in murder. He's like standing up to the devil in a sense. And he's like, you won't break my convictions of how I feel. It's just something to, God damn it, this movie's good. So I will give this release... Uh, a thumb, one thumb up, not two thumbs up. I think it would have been nice if we would have got uh, a 4K scan with the Legion cut as well. The the video stuff would have been more jarring. I understand that, but that's if they would have done that, I would have given it two thumbs up. But I'm gonna give it one thumb up. I will say though, if you've never purchased this movie before, this is it. This is one of the greatest. This is my opinion, the best movie of the '90s. So, um. And the 4K scan, I'll give us picture quality on that, a solid 8.5 out of 10. You're really going to see true clarity in the darkest, darkest scenes where he's in the solitary confinement room, when the flames come up with the snakes. You're really going to see the clarity there. Really going to see a difference there. So, great 4K scan. Just a good, clean, proper 4K scan for this movie. Couldn't be happier. The 5.1 audio was beautiful. But again, if you have sound bars and stuff like that, or just a small sound bar, do the 2.0 because it's going to level everything out better. Because with the 5.1, if you don't have a great setup, sometimes the voices will be lower than the music, and that could be annoying. You'll be adjusting your volume. Keep that in mind, guys. So, Exorcist 3, so happy to have this on 4K. It's one of my all-time favorite horror movies. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I'll see you next time. Hey, a huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.